<laughs> so Mav Hoffa, from my expert opinion, um, last week we covered that Champ left his podcast, and this is like host number four or five. We dropped our video, which will be linked in the description as well, so that you can watch it, um, about various reasons why we think the issue might be a variation between math, management styles, all type of things. We covered it all last week. But none of that matters because math actually jumped on a podcast. Um, it's a good brother. It's an Asian dude, and I can't remember. It's like, what the fuck is the name of the podcast? Because I don't want to mess this up. My it's bad, an bro. Asian guy. He does and, good work for the most part from what we've seen and so I have, far. I've seen a little bit of his work. He had these two dudes on one time. Once I saw him, I was, like, I've Uppercut seen his podcast. short. Uppercut podcast. Yeah, I had seen his shorts. Like, I, when yeah. I saw him, I was like, oh, wait, I have seen this dude before. He looked familiar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he had, he's out there on the West Coast, I'm pretty sure, because he's had a couple West Coast people on there. Like, the people that make those West Coast circuits, the no jumpers, the back on figs, you know, like. What? I've seen, I thought he was from the East Coast. Is he? I thought, I could have sworn he was from the I know East Coast. I saw a nice variety of West Coast personalities interviewing there. You I know think, what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I, think, I don't know where he's at. I, know, I so. definitely know he's from the East Coast. Gotcha. Like, I can, okay. you could just hear it. Like, no Asian nigga talks like this. Maybe he really pulled a fucking China mag and just went to the West Coast. Left New York, came to the West Coast. You never yeah, know. Yeah. Better living. There he was definitely a couple of, like, China mag. I didn't know China mag came back to podcasts. And, like, a couple of those comments is obviously yeah. not him, but yeah, yeah. Asian and podcast in outer space. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you going to get hit with the China mag. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Niggas going to call you China mag the first time. It's at least. hanging fruit. That's yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too yeah. easy, dog. Yeah. Yeah. He's on all the market shit for podcasts and Asians. Yeah. 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 So uh, He found his black guy. I don't know if y'all seen this. Did y'all see? This? Let's start there. I Did you see, see this? this? I, I saw it, and um, you know, Matt said his reasonings. You know what I mean? Like he said, it's three sides to every story, <laughs> True. and that's kind of what, like, you know, hey, okay, I, allegedly yeah. Champ wasn't shit. Yeah, now, Champ was chump. There was a couple times where I lost where the story was going. I was like, "What are we talking about right now?" Did mm, you, did you yeah. feel like that? He was bouncing around a little bit. But for the most part, he you know, kept it kind of straightforward. Like he gave us, he kept it straightforward, and he gave us a lot of reasons why uh, Champ might be um, irresponsible, unreliable, and untrustworthy. But he did say a reason that um, <clears throat> that we had said on the pod. It was like, yo, he had probably walked up to Math one day and was like, yo, like I boosted these numbers up, like yeah, you know, said, categorically, like yeah, he <laughs> said that. Um, even the last crew, people had said that. He's, um, like every single yeah. When, when we got here, it went up three hundred thousand subscribers. Like nigga, I caused categorically different effects for this right, podcast. That's right. what that's what Mav said. All the mother niggas said. And it, when you put it like that, it's like uh, you got to kind of have to get rid of a nigga like that. But yeah, you yeah. got too much still, leverage. But then at the same time, like, I mean, what you thought like free work? You were just going to get free work? Well, I don't know. So, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I I get getting just annoyed that a nigga's like, nigga, we came up three hundred thousand. That I've been here. So was they getting a pay? And then when after it went up three hundred thousand, are they asking for a raise? Possibly, you know what I mean? Mm, it could just yeah. be like, how are they leveraging that in conversation? You know, because it's when it's twenty people up there, it's hard to even know who really did the most <laughs> yeah, work. Yeah, you know, it's, well, not, only not just, really, but yeah, and not just twenty people, twenty niggas, like New yeah. York niggas. He's probably paying <laughs> these niggas on consignment, like yeah. and treating this shit like the drug game. Yeah, well. I don't, bro. Shout out to all the New York niggas because y'all are definitely in here. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I was about Blast to, your butters for him. I was about to say, <laughs> and for the foot, different. nigga. Yeah, no. drop the uh, butter emoji. Nah. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, so it, it, it's going to be interesting to hear, but he gave us like three to four different yeah. examples of why Champ. <laughs> you got one. You got another one. Go ahead. I'm not. No, no. No, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Get it off, man. Let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. You guys can't resist. Let's talk about this grimy nigga. Yeah, so he gave like three. No, he did start it saying, I am the problem. That is one thing he did say at the very okay. jump of this. But so long story short, he said champ ain't shit. And then he proceeded to give us like three to two to three examples and stories of instances where you're like, we can all collectively agree this nigga ain't yeah. shit. But the stories were taking so long. I was like, nah. I got. I had to reverse back. I was like, we're talking about a truck. Now he's at Enterprise. Like you lost context. Yeah, I ain't gonna I'm lie. Like, so easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck lie. is this story right now? One of the stories was funny as shit. 
So allegedly, them niggas chilling, walking down 45th. <laughs> I guess that's the avenue. I don't know. But they walking down it. This nigga uh, Champ was like, yo, I got to go. My uh, grandma just got into, she got into an accident. She in the hospital. You she paraplegic. Yeah, something like that. And yeah. so everybody in the crew was like, yo, go handle your business. Be, uh, I know yo, this is you going to do that. That's, yeah. that's family. That's bro. family. Yeah. Bro. You got to go do that. So I guess after, you know, he ran off to go help his grandma, they got hungry and wanted to go to the club. So they go to the club slash bar or whatever. I was, there. Confu- I was confused because it, even when the way I say he, there were details in these stories, it was he like, said, he said, we went, he said, we went to this food spot, but went to the top floor. And so I'm and like, I was like, hmm, nigga, you, you, you with know, the mob, nigga? What yeah, type of shit yeah, is it literally, yeah. it literally felt like in rush hour when they went upstairs in Trying Chinatown. To try to find Jutown. So it was like, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But upstairs, there was actually a club. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that threw me off. I was like. Where is this restaurant now, club at? Now, great. That's what life is probably like in New York, though. That's true. That's, that's just true. what it is. They could have yeah. went to a titty bar. I didn't, and that's the thing. I don't know the locations that he's talking about. But you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, yeah. they went up there because you know he knows the owner. He go up to dap the owner. No, he's chilling. Somebody at the front. When he as he walks in, they said, "Oh, that's surprising. We see you here." We just saw Champ go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's interesting. So Mav is like, <laughs> Shit. "That's not possible, B." So he goes up there. He runs upstairs. <laughs> he sees him. He's like, oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I, gotta go. I, I remember. I remember this. Yeah. I remember this story. That's when I realized, oh, I'm in for some bullshit in this 15 minutes. Uh, he was like, so I'm looking through the crowd, and I see Champ. Champ over there. Just dancing. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Champ over there dancing. Champ over there just dancing. Yeah. Yeah, he said, then he said, I turned my head and looked back. He was gone. I didn't know where he went. So I started looking through the crowd. He had a dance fit in and shit. Then I see Champ hiding behind the thing like this, trying not, just hoping I didn't see him. And then he was like, as soon as he noticed I seen him, he was like, yo, man, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that to you. I should have lied to you. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? You get, nigga, these stories you, were detailed as fuck. That's crazy. What, but he, is Champ a Brooklyn nigga? I don't know. I Bruh, can't keep up it's no one, more. It's one borough that they say that they just lie pathologically. It's probably the Bronx. Oh, I think somebody said. Somebody I know. Said, somebody I think somebody said, said it was Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Said it was Brooklyn. I think it's yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. I know comments. Math is from Brooklyn, but I don't know about Champ. Man, it's probably well, one if of he is from Brooklyn and he's hanging with a Harlem nigga, that's where he went wrong. Who's the Harlem nigga? Just assuming that he's not yeah. from Brooklyn and he's from yeah. somewhere oh, else. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. All those boroughs have their own wrong. little thing going on. I don't the know. The next best liars are Harlem niggas. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but uh, nah, man, it's the story was so crazy that like he could have been lying. But also telling the truth. Exactly. That's but how like, ridiculous it, they were. Like I you, don't even know whether to believe it or not. You're telling me a nigga just starts dancing and disappears? Yeah. <laughs> like that, this and is then, a goosebump and story. And then, nigga pull up. and then you catch him hiding behind the bar. But that was just the first story of this installment. Oh, and so it was more like there's, that. There's like two Bro. more stories. And yeah. I was, I was about to say, where were they going to where he had to lie to get out of going there? That's what I'm saying. That's, I don't know. Like, why didn't he just say, I want to go club somewhere? But they why didn't say that either. And you got to think, what he wanted to do is what his friends wanted to do. And they ended up at the same place. Yeah. Where I'm saying, like, he's probably lying about the reason. I just don't or, believe the, the it, whole thing. That don't thing. make sense. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. That's Bro, weird. And, okay, so that was one thing. And then the last story, that story took the longest. And that was the one I really had a hard time tracking. And that was, it had something to do with a truck, about him letting him hold a truck, him having a truck. Probably baby mama, right? But then also, no, it was to stunt and look good, nigga. I don't know. Then there was consignment. Long story short, like Enterprise or Rent a Car place came up, and he was supposed to go there, and he was like, "Yo, pick this person up from the airport." So then he picks this person up from the airport, he drops him off at the shop, and I ran downstairs because I wanted to catch him before he left. Because I'm skipping a lot of the argument before this uh-huh. even got uh-huh. to this part. And then he was like, "But Champ pulled off." Before I got down there, because he knew I wanted to see him about something, about mm-hmm. what we had been discussing that morning. <laughs> right. And then he was oh. like, then I asked the dude, I said, "What well, did he have the truck? He said he had the truck. I said, he's still driving the truck. Uh, I was like, this, this I feel is like crazy. all the mad stories, stories are like a cutscene in a movie. Yeah, yeah you know for what I mean? sure. It's just like a little cutscene. This is that 15 minutes of. Yeah. Elaborate storytelling and possibly the truth. You, we don't know. You know what I it's mean? It's probably but, uh, laced with truth. It's definitely laced with truth. There's no yeah. way all this came up, mm-hmm. but like 
Probably the areas he embellished too many details is probably where he's coding the lie. Chant probably is a slimy ass nigga because he hasn't said his truth yet. True, you know and it's, I mean? it's a much like, clearer way of just saying this nigga's grimy. You can't yeah. fuck with him, you know. Yeah, yeah. To, to, I was about to say based off these stories, there's really no other side. There's no other side. Like there's bro. no like. Yeah, there is no other side at all. Yeah, yeah. unless he's just leaving out an extreme amount of details and context. Like, but he, if he's making such an elaborate story already, that's details and context right there. Like that's a lot of details and context yeah. in that story. Like to make that up, you really got to be crazy. To just come off the top of all of that? Well, it, that's what I'm saying. He's probably not like, making it up, but the yeah. context of why he left, like, that's an important part. Why'd you leave that out? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. the context who, of why he who left. says, like, that's something you say to your job. Like, nigga, my mother is, like, sick. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, your yeah. own. Because it was on some, like, she's in the hospital type shit. Yeah, like, or she, she just, just. Or she just slipped in the shower. So, yeah. you know, like, we have to be there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga. But I don't know. The story was crazy. It was like, see how many views this got? Uh, 34K. In one day. Shout out to him. <laughs> shout out to Uppercut. I Uppercut know those are real the, views. Yeah, Uppercut got him a nice little hit off that. But uh, I don't know if I believe it, but hey, I believe it. I believe I was entertained. I can tell you that. Yeah, now math, he's definitely not. I, I see why he's not a popular battle rapper. He can't tell stories. <laughs> this nigga ain't Matter shit. Matter of fact, skip to about, ha skip to about like a third in. Right there. This might be the uh okay, okay. Let's shout out to we have to figure out what his name is, but I would not have been able to be as enthusiastic as this interviewer was. I mean, I lost myself in the story multiple times. I had to go back. Yeah. The whole Look time at his face. The yeah. whole time he's locked in, he's oh, that's fucked up. He's invested. That's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, he was he was doing his goddamn job. I know I don't have it in me. He's a great interviewer. <laughs> but he was Invested in this goddamn it's story. It's called mirroring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. He's reflecting the emotion of his subject. Hey, to everyone uh -huh. that this person <laughs> left already. Oh. I said to everyone, y'all oh. niggas hungry, let's go to Chop House. Yeah. You go to Chop House, uh -huh. sit down, the waiter's like, what's up, man? That's crazy. Champ just went upstairs. What you mean he just went upstairs? What you mean? Nah. Go upstairs. <laughs> Your man's bugging. I'm like, I walk around the banner, I look again, I don't see nobody. I'm like, what the fuck? I see like like the crowd opening up <laughs> and moving in a certain direction. <laughs> I go over, this nigga's like, oh. yo, I'm sorry, bro. Yo, you swear, yo, this is, you know, you know, this is a church in here. You know that, right? I told you, I have a yo, session with the truth. <laughs> yo, bro, that, yo, how this you gonna put your grandma because, into it, man? Hold he's, on, like, can, he's like, you uh, can tell me the truth. And pause it. Hey, because the nigga sound like Batman. Like, yeah, it's, you it's, picking up on all these clues and details. And that's a running joke, because yeah. I think he actually does his podcast in the church. I've heard him say okay, that. Okay, okay, I got Like, you. he like to fuck guests up. Like, yo, but why was, you cursing? But it was so ridiculous, because he don't believe the story, and he's yeah. like, let me go ahead and put the church thing back out there just yeah. to see it. Yeah, what well, time for this? Cursing, yeah, it's If he'll continue this shit. This nigga started sinning <laughs> my bad bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah this 15 minutes what i didn't watch just, the whole thing just because it's like this is the most relevant important and but. maybe whoa that might just show you he wanted to get away from math so bad he told his homies nigga my mom that is, is good almost point. dead just a boogie by himself nigga <laughs> 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 Yeah. Just do it. He just Man, wanna, that's some real shit, he, though. He fucked up. Yeah. Math fucked up his whole vibe. His relationship with him so much. He, he fucked said, up his whole... He was dancing and shit. I'll kill a family member off to get away from this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga, my God, mom. Dang. Yeah, nigga, my mom, my grandma. You want to go home? That's... No, no, but he wanted to because he, he, the he, he knows that's not gonna be that's not gonna satisfy him. Yeah, they might try to come to his crib. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, you need to go home? Don't worry, I'll drive you because we got something to do right after. Exactly. Like, right. Like, nah. Man, on, man, fucking Hoffa, man. Matt, I don't know, man. <laughs> he sound like a buzzkill. He over here smoking a black near a church. I mean, in mm. totality, if we're talking in the essence of uh, <clears throat> podcasting, you know, something happens, you yeah. get the first response. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this is playing out right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nah, <laughs> See, man, I'm not it's mad sad, at this. man. It's sad, man. It's we sad, can't, we can't be having like this be like the trope of black podcasts. 
I don't think it's a triple black podcast, but I'm just saying I'm just I like that there's more to the storyline. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You, you like that you getting the info as to why it happened and, hey, and the way it's if, going down. Like even yeah. if I don't believe it, give us something. Give us something. Give yeah, us something. Yeah. A lot of people don't try to give you anything. That's podcast a podcast, and we need to eat out here too. You Absolutely. know, give us these stories, nigga. Yeah, so some. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic, I guess. You shout know? out to the Uppercut yeah, nah. Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Shout, shout out, out to Champ, that slithery nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling where he's at. You up next, nigga, and we'll God cover damn. it next week, bro. Because it ain't nothing out right now, so. You got to do an exposing math thing to where yeah. it's like, you just tell us how bad of a friend he is. Nah, that's but like, that's the thing. Like, if Champ is the nigga math say he is, like, if he come out, he's going to be talking about how bad of a father math is and shit. Like that, I feel like it's gonna get to that. I wonder point. how low he'll go. He gonna go hella low. Yeah, that's the it. nigga lied try on to his him. grandmother. Nigga, he'll yeah, go. Yeah, now low at the this most. point, it's time to see how how, how low are they willing to go. Yeah, that nigga. And now that I hope they don't go too low. Like Matt nah. gets his ass lit. <laughs> but you know, champions gonna do that because the the type of nigga he is, he's not gonna take accountability. Yeah, he don't play limbo. Yeah, he, nah, he ain't nah. gonna do that. All right, well, uh, let's hey, move man. over to Roy and Maul. 